So in this video, let's uh, talk about the analytic geometry of planes. So these are um, a description of planes in three-dimensional space. Uh, to determine a plane, you need three points that are not collinear. And those three points will have three um, position vectors. So let me call the position vectors R1, R2, and R3. Okay. From uh, three position vectors, we can construct two displacement vectors. The displacement vectors will then lie in the plane. So those displacement vectors can be, say, uh, S1 equals R2 minus R1, and uh, S2 equals uh, R3 minus R2. Okay. Um, so now, um, from the three position vectors, we have two displacement vectors that lie in the plane. Their um, cross product, uh, the cross product of two vectors that lie in the plane, will be perpendicular to the plane. Okay. So then we can construct a vector now that is perpendicular to this plane. So let um, n then be uh, perpendicular or normal to the uh, plane, and we can construct n by just taking the cross product of the, the displacement vectors. Okay, So now we have a vector which is uh, perpendicular to the plane. So that means the dot product of n um, with any vector that lies in the plane is going to be 0. Right? So if we have a vector perpendicular to the plane, the dot product of that vector with any vector that's lying inside the plane is 0. That gives us an equation. So we have uh, n dotted into any vector which lies inside the plane. So that means r is the position vector for any point that lies inside the plane. And it has to be a displacement vector to lie in the plane. So we need to subtract this from one of R1, R2, or R3. You can choose any one, and you'll be fine. But let's, uh, for sake of argument, just choose R1. And because the normal vector, right, the perpendicular vector, is uh, perpendicular to this displacement vector, then the dot product will be 0. Okay. That's the equation for the plane. OK, uh, what type of equation is that? Well, this um, r, right, this r is just the displacement vector for any point in the plane. So any point in the plane we're going to call x, y, z, right? So r is the, displace, is the um, the position vector, sorry, for any point in the plane. So r is going to be x i plus y j plus z k. Okay. The normal vector we obtain by s1 cross s2. So we're going to calculate what the normal vector is. But for uh, sake of argument here, let's say we calculate it. And we're going to call that simply a i plus b, j, plus c, k. OK? Uh, that will give us n dot r. And then we need n dot r1. So we can just call n dot r1. This is a scalar. So whatever that is, we'll just call it d. And um, so putting this together, we have n dot r equals n dot r1 n dot r will be ax plus by plus cz. And that's equal to n dot r1, which is d. OK? That's an uh, equation for a plane in a three-dimensional space. Um, the important thing here is that this these coefficients a, b, and c 
are just the components of the normal vector to the plane. Okay? And this gives us then an equation satisfied by any point x, y, z that uh, uh, lies inside of the plane. To make all of this uh, concrete, let's look at an example. So I want to find an equation for the plane defined by 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, and 1, 1, 2. So three points are given. And then we're going to find the equation for the line formed by this plane and the z equals zero plane. So when two planes intersect, you get a line. So let's solve this uh, a part first. Um, so we have three, uh, display, uh, three position vectors, right? We know how to get to determine r1, r2, and r3 from these points. But what we want then are two displacement vectors. So let's write down the displacement vectors. So we have uh, S1, let's say it's uh, uh, R2 minus R1, so it'll be 1 minus 2 is, is minus 1, so minus I, and 2 minus 1 is plus 1, plus J, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So the first displacement vector, this is a vector that lies in the plane, is minus I plus J. The second displacement vector we can get from the uh, position vector corresponding to this point, R3 minus R2. That would be 1 minus 1 in the i direction would be 0. 1 minus 2 is, is negative 1, so that's in the j direction. Plus 2 minus 1 is 1, and that will be in the k direction. Okay. These two vectors then lie in the plane, and then their cross product is normal to the plane, so we can find the normal vector n by the cross product of these two vectors, so S1 cross S2. It doesn't matter what direction n is in, so we can do S1 cross S2 or S2 cross S1, doesn't make any difference. Uh, we can use the determinant to compute this. So this would be I, J, K. S1 is minus 1, 1, 0. And S2 is 0, minus 1, 1. Okay. And we can calculate this 3 by 3 determinant. This is the uh, cross product. So it's uh, I, we eliminate the first row in the first column. So I times 1 minus 0, so just I. And then it's J, 0 times 0 minus minus 1, or plus 1, so it's plus J. And then it's K, uh, minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1 minus 0, so that's just plus K. So this vector i plus j plus k then is perpendicular to the plane. Um, and then finally, we can use this n dot r minus r1. So the normal vector dotted into a, um, a displacement vector in the plane is supposed to be 0. Uh, that's equivalent to n dot r right, equal to, so we can do just directly do n dot r, let me write that here, we can directly do n dot r equals n dot r1, right, so this one is our, uh, so r is uh, our x i plus y j plus z k, so n dot r will be uh, x times 1, so x plus y plus z will be n dot r, right, because n is just has components 1, 1, and 1. So this is n dot r, and that's supposed to be equal to n dot r1. So r1 is the, is the uh, position vector of 2, 1, 1, so n dot r1 will be 2, plus 1 plus 1 is 4, okay?
and that's the equation then for the plane. So this this um, equation, th these this this plane here then goes through these three points, which you can see, right? So two plus one plus one is four. One plus two plus one is also four, and one plus one plus two is also four. Okay, and this is an equation for the plane. That's part A. Now for part B, find the equation for the line formed by this plane and the z equals zero plane. For part B, all you have to do is then take z equal to zero, and then we get a line in the xy plane. Uh, with z equals zero, then we'll get y equal to minus x plus four. Okay, and so that's the intersection of those two planes. It gives us a line. Okay, let me um, summarize. We're trying to uh, describe a plane in three-dimensional space using vectors. Um, the plane is given by uh, three points. Those three points, we can write three position vectors, right? So R1 here, for this example, would be... Um, 2i plus j plus k, right? Three position vectors. And then from three position vectors, we can uh, compute two displacement vectors. The displacement vectors lie in the plane. So to construct a normal to the plane, we just need to take the cross product of the two displacement vectors. Once we have a normal to the plane, then the dot product of the normal to the plane to any displacement vector that lies in the plane is going to be zero. So by the condition that it's any displacement vector, that means we can put in an R here, which denotes the position of uh, any point in the plane. Okay. So R is xi plus yj plus zk, and we end up with an equation ax plus by plus cz equals d, where A, B, and C are the components of the normal vector to the plane. And uh, here's the fully worked example. I'm Jeff Chasnoff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.